I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL. Uh, in the second episode, we'll keep it really, really short, but I just wanted to introduce to you in the API the get context attributes function on the GL object, which allows you to view um, each of these attributes. You have alpha, anti-alias, depth, fail if major performance caveat, pre-multiplied alpha, preserve drawing buffer, stencil, and then I believe we all have one more that Chrome is missing, which is prefer low performance power to high performance. Um, I'm not going to go through what each of these does. Um, there's a wall of text, as you can see here. I'm not just going to read it to you. Um, take a look at it on the specifications page, which I have linked to in the resources. Um, the way you can override and set these is when you are setting uh, the get context, you can pass in a JSON object and override um, one of the or any of the uh, attributes as shown here. Uh, so we can refresh and you can see that stencil is false. And if we want to change it to true, we'll refresh and now it's set to true. So go play with that, take a look. Um, and additionally, I just wanted to show this real quick too. You can actually log out the GL object itself. If you wanted to get the rendering context, and you can see it has the canvas objects that it's tied to, as well as the drawing buffer height and width. Uh, that's it for today. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Thank you.